A 555 timer wired in a stable mode has no stable output. It keeps alternating between high and low. The speed that the output uh, changes there is mostly determined in most uh, cases by a couple of resistors and a capacitor. Larger values take uh, longer to uh, alternate. Often you'll also see a diode right there. So this is a 100 microfarad capacitor right there. We're going to swap it out with a 22 microfarad capacitor which is uh, close to a fourth of the capacitance and so we should get about uh, four times faster flashing at the output there. We are powering this circuit with five volts right there. The uh, curved line there is the capacitor charging and discharging. You can see its voltage there and uh, the output uh, voltage is the uh, green line right there. It's either zero volts or it's about uh, three and a half volts it looks like. It doesn't get to the full five volts. To make things easier to see, I swapped out the 100 microfarad capacitor for a 470 microfarad capacitor. So it's taken about five times as long for this process. There you can see the capacitor charging to two-thirds supply voltage. That sets the output low. Then it discharges to about one-third of the supply uh, voltage, and that sets the output high. And it just keeps repeating like that. When you first apply power to the circuit, the capacitor is less than one third of the supply voltage, so uh, pin 2 tells the output to go high right there. And at the same time, the capacitor can uh, charge. So through a 10K resistor in this case and a diode right there, it uh, charges if you have the diode. Otherwise, it also has to go through that resistor, which will take longer. But in any case, when pin 6 sees that it charges to two thirds of the supply voltage, as we saw before, Pin 7 connects to ground, and the output also connects to ground, and that LED lights up. Then the uh, capacitor discharges through that resistor. Any current through this resistor will also just go to ground. And uh, discharges till pin 2 sees one third of the supply voltage, and the process repeats 